I just came out to check on my tomato plants because I noticed um, they were there was some decline yesterday. Um, some of the the leaves on here are browning, yellowing and browning. That shouldn't be happening. So it seems to be. Um, it's on both of these plants. Uh, but the first thing I noticed, you know, the first thing I went to do was look in the, the root column here to see what's going on. Um, usually there's something going on with in, inside the Dutch buckets. And sure enough, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, um, but there are just tons of ants. A lot of ants crawling up and down the water pipe. So, what that means, we have to get the ants out of the bucket here. Now, it's an insect, and we know um, from permaculture and from understanding microbiology that if we have an insect we don't want somewhere, we just have to counter that insect with another insect. So, I'm going to use microbiology, and um, it looks like this is dry, so I can squirt um, or pour some um, compost tea in. And the microbes that are in the compost tea, all the, the effective microbes that I've put in, um, specifically into the brew that I make, um, not everybody's brew is going to have effective microbes. You actually have to put those in. So um, I, I've done that with mine, and they work extremely well. That's what the goal today is. Um, I'm, I've already got some compost tea in, in the house here, and I'm just going to go get it and uh, pour a cup or two in and see how that goes, see if it gets rid of them. It works in the yard and, and grass. Anytime I've got grass, I just aerate uh, an ant mound. And But these aren't fire ants, so, you know, it should work. It should be the same principle, though. We will see. And there it is. We're going to see how that works. Effective microbes do amazing things. They're what keep us alive, so maybe they'll help us out. And get rid of the ants in the bucket for me. If you guys want to see the updates as I post to see if, if things like this I'm doing are working uh, using effective microbes in combination with hydroponics, uh, which is an organic method with a chemistry method combined. So very interesting to me because chemistry kills microbes. So uh, th this will be interesting, but the chemistry isn't in the top layers here. And as long as we keep that moist inside, the microbes can stay alive. Um, they just can't live within the chemistry. They might, they might be able to use it, the evaporation qualities that are inside the bucket because the entire bucket's not saturated. And maybe they could live on the outskirts of the moisture, um, maybe where the chemistry is not so strong or maybe where it's evaporated. And, you know, there's a lot of variables involved, guys, and this is all new to, to so many people, including myself, <clears throat> combining or having the understanding that, uh, you know, we're, we're making things out of chemistry that aren't in nature. Um, they are but they're only in nature after the microbes convert organic material into these substances that we're, we're basically mimicking nature with chemistry. Um, and we found that the chemistry we create kills things, it kills bugs, and the bugs are what make the chemistry in the soil, so it's kind of important that we don't kill our bugs. Um, but this is, it's an experiment, guys, and so far I've put a good bit of, uh, of the um, compost tea in my hydroponic systems just to get the the chemistry from it the humic acid and the amino acids to the plants because uh, the humic acid is a direct direct uptake nutrient so regardless of whether the microbes are in it or not it would still feed the plants if we put it in all right guys Tom with permaculture Wilmington I'll keep you updated